just goes to show how awesome I am with my awesome superpowers. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Structalissa here. And today we are jumping back into Life is Strange, episode two. News? Seems like a good idea. Alright, I think, I think we're back in the dorms. After our weird conversation with Chloe. That we had at the end of the last one. Where we told her we can now time travel. I'm still not sure whether she believes us or not. But we'll find out. Oh, I hope our plant's still alive. We did water it, right? Oh god, I don't remember. I think we watered it. We should be fine. Episode 2, Out of Time. It must be pretty warm where they're staying. Get up! We got things to do, girl! What is with the chickens on your shirt? I think they're chickens. They look like chickens. They might not be chickens. Who no knows? Rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. <laughs> no, seriously? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. What? Who wants me at this time of day? Oh, it's Chloe. Alright, so we are going to go and meet Chloe at the diner where her mum works. Even but we got a shower first. Shit going on. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Just because I don't remember if we did water yesterday or in the, well, whenever it was. It does not have consequences other than staying alive, right? Uh, do we need to take anything with us or do we just go? I better not leave without my shower supplies. Yeah, okay, that's what I was asking. Do we need that? Uh. Aha! Okay, <laughs> I was Max, like, where would they be? The showers now. Yeah, Max, let's go. Gordon, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Girl, you cheating? I think you're cheating. I'm going to report your ass. Where the hell's the showers? This way? Hmm. Okay then, this way? No? Uh... Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Where are we supposed to be going? Aha! Showers open. Hey girl, what's up? How you doing? You having a better day than yesterday? Hey Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. You're Anytime. welcome. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. 
I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. You got it. Also, she sounds like she's about to cry again. Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, well, let's shower, then. Oh god, what's wrong with her? Is she is she awake cry? Oh god. What's oh up, no. Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Wait, oh, what happened? Oh, oh. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. <laughs> I should have beat her down. Bring it! That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. That's harsh, man. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> she is going to get what's coming to her. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about we go wipe that shit off of the mirror? I better the get mirror. dressed and go give back Kate's book. Aries. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. I wonder what it is though. Actually, do you know what? Can we, uh... Let's have a look at it first. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching- Like, I'm wondering if we take note of it, if we could, like, do something. Like, to get it taken down or something. God, these people really hated Rachel. I don't know why. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And wow. I still have to bring all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Dude, they totally trashed my place. What is this? Man, what this is could this? almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Okay, these people have issues. Super issues. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. But I don't think that was Nathan. Was he even allowed in here? Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Well, she deserved it. He's a biatch. Alright, uh, we got find her boot. No book here. <sighs> of course she oh, just spilled no. soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I don't want to add to our list of problems. It's cool. Be gone, we got it. Soft drink. 
Uh, could you imagine if this, like, what it would be like if you had these powers in real uh -huh, life? Ah, <laughs> you sneaky book. You're mine. Alright, calm down. Uh, do we gotta get dressed before we go anywhere? I need to get dressed before I go there. Really? Isn't it like across the hall? For goodness sake. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. We're just hey, going I across the hall! The same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. But at least you're wearing a now different I can shirt. I finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. That is so true. Uh, I don't remember which one is Kate's. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting enormous <laughs> threats. It never ends. Uh. This has to be from Nathan. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in. What now. if it's not? What if it's someone else? Uh, why are you hanging in the dark, girl? Uh, yo, you ever heard of, uh, turning on the light? Do, do you want me to turn, uh, turn on, whoa, okay. There's some weird stuff going on here. Uh, we're in the dark and she's got cloth covering the mirrors. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Oh, because he's a douche. Aren't they technically the same thing? Ooh, uh, I had no choice. I had nope. no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why would he think she's part of a club of absolute dingbats? What is this? Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. She was drugged by uh, Nathan, I guess. I totally forgot his name there, but I came back really quickly. Uh, why would you go? So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. She was drugged. She was drugged. Uh... Now, if we say not enough to get wasted, we're just stating the fact, right, that she just told us that she didn't have enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Mm-hmm, mm hmm What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and... Felt a sharp sting in my neck. And. 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 What? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I woke up out of my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. 
I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? Funny. I need to know what to do. <laughs> Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Highlight of this episode. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Thank you, little bunny. So her story is sounding very similar to the one that Chloe told us in episode one about Nathan. What this? Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kitty, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Annie Marsh, wow! That's harsh, but to be expected from a family like hers, obviously. Don't mind me. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. What? Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go. It's too scary for me. Too scary. No, I'm just kidding. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? That's sad. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. We call us. Kate, your father and I received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your, our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Ha! Huh. Our family is not very nice. But they're all religious and stuff, so, uh... Uh, we can't leave! <laughs> oh, we have... Duh! You gotta put the book in the bag. <laughs> so, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Okay. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. Sure. What's up? I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh, okay. So, um... I think going to the police is a really bad idea because obviously, you know, Nathan is a Prescott and they're obviously in with the police. So I'm going to say we should look for proof first. Get some proof so that we can just like be like, okay, you done it. And that's it. I don't know where we're going to get proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're that's on just video <laughs> grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> but I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove. Not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. God damn it! <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> All right, job, I'm. Dr. I'm Max. gonna leave. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. We do. We do. <sighs> I was trying to be helpful. Obviously, it didn't work. Oh, hey, girl, what's up? Oh, shit, I was supposed to meet Chloe. <laughs> Yay! Breakfast! Alright, let's, uh... You'll meet Chloe then, I guess? Okay. <laughs> this is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student in Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. 
Okay, right, so he said this is the final warning. We didn't get the first one. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on over here. What's up? Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you got your ass kicked. Super sorry about that, son. Super sorry. Uh, thank you. That seems like the correct response for him. Um, you know, having him save your ass and get in a black eye. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. <laughs> How do you know her? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, she's a pirate. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Well, you see, don't get involved, sorry. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! I want to say... Yes, but not now. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Sounds good, bro. I'll catch you later. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I don't trust any of these people. What's up, Mr. Bus Driver? Time for some tunes! Alright, it's breakfast time, so I cut out the bus trip because I didn't know what the situation was with the music playing. Alright, where's Chloe at? Is she inside? She better be inside. Open, says me. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Uh. Alright, okay, so she is running late. We'll just find a nice place to sit down. I want to sit right here. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only place to sit. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Aww. No safe, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. 
Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I think she understands. I think she's just angry that her dad was taken from her. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Nothing. <laughs> We already mentioned that David hit her. So why would we... Why would that be an option? It has to be an option for a reason. So obviously we have to choose that one. Right? Right? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. Okay. And he will be punished. But Chloe does push David and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, should we mention Kate? Oh, I don't know what one to choose. <laughs> um, okay. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't Bam. patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next <laughs> to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I want... Pancakes! Why is there no pancakes? Well, it must... Well, see, I wanted bacon. But I wanted pancakes. So now you're just gonna make me choose a freaking waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I didn't want coffee. I wanted orange juice. <laughs> so presumptuous. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. <laughs> for the hungry girls. The change on the menu are the prices. See, I could have had pancakes. Starfish pancakes. <sighs> People are so rude. And I can get my fresh orange juice. Let me drink my coffee first. Of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Uh, no, we're not, because I did not press the rewind button. I have some beer and bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Jim, what the hell do you need beer for at that time of day? Isn't this like... Uh, I don't know what time it is. I think it's early in the morning, seriously. I can't. No can I get beer. my waffles? What, what kind of dive is this? Hey, what's your problem? Oh, I didn't know it's that. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. <laughs> Poor Warren. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Oh, gimme. Yeah, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Hello. About time you rolled in. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. <laughs> you put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. 
Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. Nah. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. What? You guys are still the same. That's just Another not fair. To blow this town. Taking away bacon the privileges. Now that that's out of the way. Really, Let's you can't talk about your get on the seat like a normal person. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. How am I supposed to see? Am I supposed to guess and then rewind? I can't rewind right now, so I'm gonna say chewing gum. <laughs> Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Key. Sounds like key. Okay, cigarettes, a key, some change, Kevin and I don't know what the other thing was. Parking ticket, maybe? <laughs> okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Key with a panda. Panda key. Okay. Cigarettes. Change. It was a parking ticket. Man, I'm good. All right. Ooh. All right. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. You have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know that I'm was a give me though. But how many cigarettes? <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> uh, seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count yes. cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Parking ticket, but parking I don't remember ticket. anything about really it. Well. But... What is the exact time I was busted? I don't know. Uh, 11, 10 a.m. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. <laughs> okay, okay let me do it. Let me, let, do me it. let me do it again. Let me do it again. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. <laughs> Study every item carefully and don't forget right, anything. We'll get there, we'll get there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, six bronze, four silver. Six bronze, four silver. Ah, I wasn't finished. Okay, Max. Six bronze, Study four every silver. Item carefully and don't forget. Ten thirty-four. You got okay, this, Max. Okay. Now rewind okay. and blow Chloe's mind. Okay, I think we've got it. So this is me telling you what's in. Okay, Max. I'm all right, you've got cigarettes. I'm pretty seven sure of them. Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Seven. Seven cigarettes. Yep. That's super amazing. Your car keys. Keys. Oh, wait. Uh, robot panda. A cute robot panda. Not bad. You do have. All right. Next, we said parking ticket, parking but we got the time ticket. wrong. Well. So it was. Oh god, what was it? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. How can you not know what that means? Are you stupid? Every time is gonna be there twice in the day! Morning! 
And then afternoon, or evening, night, whatever. Right, money, you've got... Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. Six, How four, six, have? four. You have, oh God. Uh, I don't know, cause I don't remember what these add up to. But you have six and four. So I'm gonna say 86, because I think it was 20 and then one. So, 86? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Just goes to show how awesome I am with my awesome superpowers. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Yeah. You have powers. Duh. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. I don't see no bacon. How's the food, Max? Delicious. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. <laughs> Great song. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Wait, what? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. All right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I got to take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Okay, okay. That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. If I can remember it. I think I've got it, though. Alright, what do you want to know, girl? Speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Alright, uh... Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Next, uh, alert on cops radio, and I, and I don't know what happened. His partner leaves? He eats a donut? I don't recall. I'm gonna say he eats a donut. I, I don't remember. I should have been paying more attention. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, but he does nothing except eat a donut. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight, but Joyce tells them to stop and get out if they're going to continue. So Justin and Trevor are fighting, one. and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Jigsbox goes crazy, but I don't remember what happened. I think. Does a butterfly land on it? I didn't see anything land on it. I wasn't paying attention. Sure, butterfly. <laughs> box goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. <laughs> I think it's wrong. Okay, let's see. Okay, so first is the trucker and his mug. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh, and now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Okay, then jukebox, jukebox, jukebox. I want to see the jukebox. Oh, it's a cockroach! This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell I think. better than that other garbage. I think it was a cockroach. Damn it. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay, so we were wrong? 
I'm going to predict. All right. So the trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops. So what happened? Oh, maybe he saw his partner leaving. Okay, let's the try that one. Gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just. That sounds right. Uh, Justin and Trevor are fighting. Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor. Uh huh. This is getting. Uh huh. Okay, let's try the cockroach crawls on it, because I'm sure that's what it was. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Let's see if it goes. Oh, okay, this is different. This is different. Hi. Oops. Did okay, you trucker break in the mug. another cup? Oh, look really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Okay. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor yeah. and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max. And <laughs> for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You wish. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens messing with her. Again. Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Girl, I have a nosebleed from rewinding too much. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Oh, uh, but I know. really should so talk to her. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Oh, god damn it. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry. I'm not answering. <laughs> Bye, Joyce. Bye, Joyce. Freedom. I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now we don't know me, that. Squire Max. We do not so know that. Seriously, tap your power and rule the world. She's gonna hate us. I hope Kate doesn't get upset that I didn't answer. She's gonna be pissed. But I could She's gonna be pissed. And her. I don't want to. Who this? Rot roll. Wait up, Speed. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. Slow down. Wait for me to get your present. You can just back time up. We'll have to test you now to make sure. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. So you wanna hang in a junkyard? Okay, sure. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Such as? Drink? Yuck. You are so <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? 
Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Hey, Captain. I'm all over this. Right. You're gonna have me run around looking for damn bottles. Ugh. I don't remember where they are. God. I hope they're gonna be easy to find. Can we just use these bottles? No. Oh, 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 hello. Stupid bottle. Well, that was smart. Uh, I'll take you to make my life easier. Uh, is that a butterfly I saw? Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Uh, so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. I don't really care. I am looking for balls. The one in the washing machine? No, probably not. Oh, there is one. Ooh, All right. Only three bottles left. Three bottles to go. Yeah. Oh, that looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. What? Oh, wait, 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 what? That dough is the perfect photo op. All right, but we're we're doing something. I I don't got time to do two things at once. Well, I mean I do, but that's not the point. This was an old school punk shirt. Awesome. Are we in this area? Was it there? Pacific Steve's famous crowd. Okay then. I don't see any more balls around here. Are you real? What? Where are you going? Come back! Uh, I don't think I can go where he was going. Nope. Dead end. Alright, I don't think there's another ball over here, so... Must be the other side. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Was he a mechanic or something? I don't recall. Nope, I don't want to go there. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, look at the birdies! Oh, I'm sorry, birdies. Lovely. Got where are these other damn balls? Nope, I don't want to go there. Just let me go where I want to go. Can we go? We can't, can we get in here? I don't know. Oh, we can. Hello. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet That's I can cute. find out more about Rachel here. That is a good idea. Three down, two more to go. What's this? I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? Well... So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. 
This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Oh. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's uh, generally something you do for like a boyfriend or girlfriend. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. If it was black, yeah. Just saying. Oh, what's this? That kind of hurts. Why? Because she took over your best friend spot. <laughs> okay then. Alright, so we've got three battles. We still got two to find. Oh, yeah, like I'm going to be able to get that ball. Okay, let's see if there's another one around here somewhere. Oh, what is this area? The Bigfoots were here. Uh, okay. I'm heavier than I thought. Going to oh. use this to get on the boat, right? Oh, yes. Don't break, because that would be really awkward. Alright, we've one got more one it. more. I don't know where it is. Oh, no. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Oh. I can't be in two places at once. I'm sorry. Alright, where is the last bottle? I'm not going to ask you. Actually, you know what? Hurry up and drink faster. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. You can <laughs> make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Uh, what is this we you talk of? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works, a god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Can I just have your bottle, please? Ooh, hello. Those shells look fresh. Somebody was shooting here. Oh no. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Is there? Because that sounds like a place where there might be a bottle. Did we already pass it? No, we couldn't have passed it. Ew! Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I mean, it doesn't really look so great. Alright, bonfire spot. Bonfire spot. Bonfire spot. Can we go across the tracks? Nope, we cannot. Okay. Bonfire spot. Where? Would there be a bonfire spot? Ho ho ho. Okay, I totally well, thought the whole thing was where it collapsed. To Captain Chloe. <laughs> I wonder how we're gonna win this. That was not cool. Alright, 
Okay, let's head back. I was just saying, I wonder if that was gonna like collapse on me and then boom, it did. Awkward. It's cool, we're not there now, we're not there now. We are saved. Nope, wrong one. Couldn't we run? Is da ha! I was pressing the wrong button. Oh, hey girl, I got your bottles. Thanks, Max. I mean, seriously, she could have just finished Wait, drinking. One more for the road. Never mind. We was going to use that one anyway. You're serious about this? We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show uh. me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim right. a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Perfect. Oh, did you see that shit, Max? Duh. <laughs> I'm so stunned cool. right here. Now Next. for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? Shoot, You're then I'll target. tell you. Pull the trigger. All right. Now, Max, where do I aim? Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Girl, you are quite Watch worrying. Out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. What? Give me uh, something to shoot, Max. What about... The monitor? Hello? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Uh. Lame. No, okay. The. Give me something to shoot, Max. We don't got a lot of targets here. Uh. The Let's rim? Take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, that I need a target does before not I shoot. Seem like a good idea. Oh. Let's not select the gas tank well, because Max? that could be bad. Uh, windshield, I sure. I see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. No. You guys better run for cover. Yet the bottle remains. Okay. Uh. Uh, Dude, I need a target before. How about aiming for the tire? Adios, I don't know what she wants. Run! Uber cool. Nailed it. <laughs> I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I told I you, too much rewinding. Feel so super. Max! Uh oh. Oh no. Ouch, that was loud. We good? We good? You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. 
Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Oh, okay. Hey, girl. I don't think that's what she meant. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me Did proud, it. sister. I think she's afraid their head's gonna go boom. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to be good and not shoot him. <laughs> Come on, girly. But I may change my mind. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Squirrel. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me. Or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. That didn't go too bad. You really stood your ground. Okay, I I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, I can Chloe. fix it. I've never held a gun on a human being before. I can Not fix cool. it. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's mm. blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Do oh, I really yeah. want to shoot him so? Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Okay, this is such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. Wait, where the hell are we? Oh. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sis. All right, let's see how it goes down. Mm. That is hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> it's I'll not remember loaded. You. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, Brainiacs. On the plus side, we still have the gun. <laughs> Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Okay. At least Frank is okay. gone. He won't fuck with us again. 
Oh, okay. He just wants his money. Okay. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Uh. Uh, Chloe? Chloe? Wow, sir. Chloe? Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Chloe! We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Oh. Girl, what you Chloe's doing? Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. All right, let's leave the junkyard. Bye bye, junkyard. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't Ew. fall. No thanks. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Because she needed money, obviously. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. This does not seem safe. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Uh, clearly there's something wrong with both of us if we're lying on the train tracks. Uh, what's up with Frank, though? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost Oh! Okay. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. I think he was the one in the RV at the end. When it was snowing. exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Um... Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. <laughs> Gross, man. He never even tried. <laughs> I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? Ew. No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. Mm, mm. What do you think? I think you should be very careful. Because he clearly is not in his right mind. Maybe you're not in your right mind. Maybe I'm not in my right mind. Maybe we're all crazy. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Because you're clearly super Carol weird. Agnew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> I'd rather be a good photographer. Mm -hmm. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. <gasps> Jesus, that was super loud. Max! Oh, Max! Mm. Help! I got stuck! What? Hold on, Chloe. Wait, 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 what, what? Uh-oh. What's that noise? The train. Oh, 
shit. Uh, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do? Get me out of here, Max. Uh, we got. I got find something to get you over there. Uh, hang on, hang on. There is nothing here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got this, I got this. Awesome. It's not locked. Please get me out of here. I better find a tool to cut those wires. I can't oh, move it in. Well, do you got anything on you? Uh I don't wanna die here! Okay, you're not helpful at all. The train's coming! Just the give me a minute! <laughs> Something is blocking the drum. Girl, give me a minute. <laughs> ah well, she's gonna die. <laughs> it's cool, girl. I I'll rewind. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. This is probably what I needed. I can definitely use this bad boy. Yeah, it would help if you would move a lot faster. Can we get in here now? Oh, God. No. Come on, Hurry. Give me a second. Score. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Max. Give me a second. Give me a second. I got it. I got it. Which wire to cut? Green! <laughs> I'm panicking! I don't remember. Oh, stupid light! No go! Oh, shit! Okay, 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 okay. But which wire to cut? Red! I don't know! Now that's the right cable. Please. Yes! I did it! Jesus. <laughs> you okay? You saved me again. I did. Crazy. Cause I'm awesome. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Can we go Aren't home you now? <laughs> took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have mm -mm. to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. What's we going on in the sky? Forever. What? Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Mm, explain what? Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. Probably. You've saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Yes, I do. I have watched Jurassic Park. <laughs> what do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah. Catch you later, girl. Bye bye. Yeah, this weather, man, this weather. I mean, we've had snow, now we've got rain, and sun. 
Who knows? Oh, we should really check on Kate. Make sure she's okay. If we can. Max, can we talk? <sighs> I suppose so. Do you so. mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? I do mind, yes. I don't think so. I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? What? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. I feel like we're making some sort of camaraderie here. So let's ask him, what about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Hey, Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Too suspicious, too suspicious. What's up? <laughs> uh, okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. In the lab. Which one is the lab? Is this the lab? Science! Hey, buddy. What you doing? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Oh, uh, sodium, I sure. I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. All right, okay then, let's fix that. I think you should choose potassium since I'm not sodium sure why did not work. You decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium mm -hmm. it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. No thanks. Weird Magic. Science. Was that supposed to happen? Uh. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay, good talk. See you later. This I'm out here. Be that hard. Oh, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. What did you do? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. No, no, no. Uh... Never mind. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I... I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video? Yes, I do. Mm, Kate is freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Whoa, she whoa. means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Whoa! She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Dude! Oh, we had a missed call. Yes, I've talked to her. Yes, I've talked to her this morning. She needs friends and support now. 
I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. How dare he? That was a private moment. <laughs> that was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would ah, never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Oh, is Excuse that my me, fault? <laughs> Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I really don't like him. Yes. He's just a douchebag. Uh huh. Sure, okay. I'm going, I'm going. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Dana, you are out of control. Do you think Max Turn will be left, pissed we're sitting at her right. desk? She'll oh, I'm left. sure she'll report us to the principal. How do I look, Taylor? Like I give a flying like fuck. Us. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Well, duh. <laughs> I'm standing right behind you. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. <laughs> oh, burn! Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In Bring fact, it! <laughs> shit's just starting, Max. Ooh. Assholes. Oh, this means war. I don't trust that they didn't do something to my seat. <laughs> okay. They're being all shifty, standing right behind me, pretty much. Oh. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What is happening? Uh. What up, Max? Yes. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have a lot to cover today. Bye bye. Save a little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> That's brilliant. Usually. Uh. <clears throat> What's up, Chloe? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what did I miss? Oh, oh, okay, so we're gonna elope. Okay, People okay. People need something to judge, so they never take a good I'm look all at for themselves. It. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only I guess blame Kate ourselves. class now. I'm worried Speaking about her. Participation. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example, who what? I know can't wait to enter. Right? Me? I'm sure no. you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. School. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. 
Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Hey, what? What? Listen, what? everybody remain seated. <laughs> no. Dismissed. No chance. Oh god. Is it what I think it is? Did Kate kill herself? Oh I don't I don't wanna look. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. She can't die. She can't. Whoa. Not now. Dude, I don't think I we can save her. Something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Uh, we gotta figure out a way to get up there. Did we, did we just stop time? We're so badass! <laughs> I don't know if we did. I think we did. How are we supposed to get up there and save her before she, she like, falls to her death? Going, Max, you can do it. Ooh, this is weird. I assume we have to get up there to stop her. It's May coming through. Ah, oh, look at the rain. That's so cool. Quick, must make it to the roof before terrible things happen. Just grab her, just grab her and pull her back. It's fine. Yes. That's gonna be totally good if we can't actually make it before time starts again. Doing here, Max. I Stop. came to save you. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself. Max, Just seriously, don't talk come near to me. her. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Uh, I'm not going to tell her things will get better because I hate when people say things like that. It doesn't make you feel better. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? Uh, if we're honest with her, is that going to be better? Um, we can't rewind either, so, <laughs> oh god. I'm just going to be honest and see what happens. I was with Chloe, and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, oh god. Not. And I'm here for you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I kind of want to say it's too dangerous for us. Or should we say we're gathering proof? Oh, I don't know. Let's go dangerous. I you, Kate. But it's dangerous for both of us if I get involved now. 
Like everybody at Blackwell, it's all about you. Even when I'm the victim. No! God damn it! Oh! <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, man. Well. Now we're a murderer. Great. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Why am I here? Oh, because I was the last one to see her before it happened. Duh! Miss Caulfield, <sighs> why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? There, I Please, think it's kind of obvious why I was there. <laughs> I was trying to stop her. Oh god, I don't have proof of anything. Oh man. Uh Oh god, what are we gonna choose? I'm gonna choose Nathan. I'm I'm gonna pick Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> Without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Ew. Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. Yes! <laughs> Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I bet you I'd are. like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, no, I'm just going to sign that statement. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. That was the worst possible outcome for Kate. Ugh. Max is gonna feel terrible now. It. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her 
drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand I still just tried to help. Out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So... Agreed. What do you think is really happening? No idea. What the hell is this? It's just no one again. No. Whoa. The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Oh. I believe you, Warren. Getting a little bit too close. <laughs> anything this week. I did not invite this closeness. Out my space. Out my space. That's cool, though. It's almost like the sun is a moon. But it's not. Oh, it looks like he feels really bad. Oh, I'm so glad that we didn't actually pick him. Is that the teacher? I bet he feels like crap as well since he was like the one that made her cry. Whoa, what's going on? Was they having a fight? Ooh. What was that all about? It was Frank that had the dog. No go. Ah oh, man. I don't. I think there is a way you can save her, but. I don't know what choice it was that would have stopped her from jumping. Man. Wow. Yeah, let's find out what's going on. Let's be like Batman and Robin. Ah, yeah. Without the fighting crime. Cause... Eh, don't wanna fight. Oh, they're gonna put up one that says Kate's name, aren't they? Are they? Oh my god, are they? We, we don't know what this is all about yet. Oh, I was sure they would. They are. I don't remember who this is. Alright guys, we are now done with episode 2. So I shall be back with episode 3 very soon. Thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed yourself, don't forget to press that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.